Okay, ready for our next project. We are going to do a project kind of in the style of someone else. Um, her name is Jennifer Woodburn. She is a current modern artist and she does kind of nature paintings in a um, uh, like graphic style, very iconic. I don't know how to explain it other than to show it to you. So we're going to look at a few of her paintings. So they're very stylized paintings. These are all like on the same theme there of the birch trees, but the ones I really wanted to look at are these open spaces, these ones of farm country. And particularly the one we're going to mimic, I love all of these, so they're just a lot of fun, is this one right here that's called Patches. Okay, so we're going to do this in our own style. So I want you to get your paper I gave you that looks like this. And we're going to do it the tall way. Okay, and I want you to get your pencil and eraser. Okay. Before you really start to draw, I want you to notice the perspective of this. So at the bottom, the road is wide. And then as it gets farther away, it's skinny till it just disappears. Every time it meets another hill, it gets, it notches in just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to start with um, drawing in our hills. Okay. So our first hill is pretty big. So it doesn't have to be exact guys. And remember, you're going to do draw light till you get it right. I'm pressing pretty hard with the 6B pencil so you can see it. So there's my first hill. That's this bottom hill. See if my, I don't know if my cursor shows up for you guys, but let's see if my pen thing does. So this bottom hill right here. Okay. See if I can do it right there. Okay. So I drew that line to match that. Then I'm going to draw this second line. And once again, I'm not trying to be totally exact, but kind of something like this. So hopefully you can see that second line. Okay. Like that. And on this one, we're going to draw the barn. And let me do that step by step for you. The first thing you're going to do is draw that shape. Okay. Then you're going to take and draw lines like that. This takes me a little bit to figure out. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. And then you're going to go like this. Close those in. See if I can get this so you can actually see it. There it is, like that. Okay, and then a, one last final line down on the end. Okay, you got your little barn there. Okay. Then we're going to do another line in the background and you guys are going to have this picture on your computer. So you can do this and look at these lines, but I just kind of want you to do the step again. So I've got three lines. Okay. Then this one doesn't go all the way across the road. So it kind of goes like, it's kind of bumpy. Okay. If you can see that, hopefully you can. Okay, that one doesn't go all the way across, and the next one goes all the way across. And I'm actually going to run out of room here, so that is completely fine. I'm going to make this other one go off. Okay, so I'll take a picture of this so you can see this. Um, what it should look like basically when. You 
Okay, hopefully you guys saw these are the lines I drew. I drew these on there. They're not exact. Obviously, I made some mistakes because of my mouse, but um, you can see this. These are the ones I draw, drew because I ran out of room. If you have more room and pictures a little close together and you want to put a few more, that's great. But I wanted to make sure I had room for the sky on top. So this is where we are. I'm taking a photo of mine real quick. And then. So I took a picture of mine and I posted, I'll post it with their, with this assignment. But the next thing we're going to do is draw the road. So over on the side, just like it is. So on the left side of your picture, you're going to start with the first section and it's going to be pretty wide. Okay. So that's my road right there, the beginning. And then I'm going to do it a section at a time and each time it's going to get a little smaller and it's not going to quite line up with the section in front of it. But it will be close because it went over the hill. So see that? It didn't quite line up. It's a little bit smaller. Next one, same thing. Okay, see that? Next one, same thing. Tell, I'm just going to let mine end at the top of this one. So it pretty much becomes nothing. So, I hope you guys can see that. There you go. That's what it looks like. So I got my entire road in there. Okay, then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my fence. So my fence. Okay. As the poles get closer to me, they get taller and they get further apart. So like that. Okay. They get closer, they get further apart, and then they get skinnier, just like the road, closer together, come to a point as they go towards that one edge of that hill right there. Okay. So you go like that. So it runs off the page at the bottom. It ends at the hill up here. It's really skinny right here. It's wider down here. Okay, notice all the posts are exactly straight up and down. Don't slant them out or they'll look wonky. Okay, so don't do that. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tree um, stems. I'm not going to put any of the color in. I'm just going to put some trunks and some, okay, I turn that off. Okay, I'm adding trees now. I'm worried I didn't record some of that, but hopefully I did. Um, and all I'm putting in is the trunks, okay, and a few branches. Okay, and that's probably enough. I just did three. One on each side of the road, and then a little bit smaller one by the barn right there. One on each side of the road. That's all I did. Okay, got my fence, my trees. Okay, so now I am ready to color. Let me take a picture of this before I do that. Okay, I lied. I'm not ready to color. I forgot. I want you to take the thin uh, tip Sharpie, which I just ran to go get, so I'm out of breath, um, and go over all your pencil lines. Okay, and do it pretty well. And so I'm going to do that real quick with mine, and then I'll show you what you need to do. And you'll have to share those because I don't have enough of them. But I have seven or eight, so hopefully it'll be enough to keep everybody going. Okay. Okay, so I've got all my lines marked over with ink. And if you look really close, you can tell that you can still see some of my pencil lines. I'm going to use my eraser and erase all those. I don't want any of them to show. And you'll notice also I wasn't always exactly in the same place. I was pretty close. And I made a mistake up here. And I just filled it in and went with it. Okay? It's okay if you make mistakes. This is kind of what your tree should look like, kind of like that. Okay, it doesn't have to everything be perfect, but you still get the idea. So I'm going to erase those 